Today we will be learning how to add a new company. To begin, go up to the New button and select New Company. To the left, you will see Company Name. And for example purposes, we're going to create one. We're going to call it Candyland Science. Below, you will see that the company is checked off as a prospect. Once an order has been entered for this company, it will be checked off as a client. Also, you will see the primary salesperson and secondary salesperson. And to the right, you will fill in the industry, origin, and region. Further down, you will enter the billing address and office phone number. Below you can also see flags which are helpful reminders and notes that help store more information on the company. Now that we have completed the company tab, click on the contacts tab. Here you can fill in information about individual contacts, like their first name, last name, their position, and email. Now click on the Financial tab. Here you can enter payments and credit terms, credit card information, and the list of outstanding orders. Next, slide over to the User Defined Fields, or UDFs. These are fields that you can create for specific information that will help you keep track of the company. To learn how to create these fields, go to the Basic Training webpage for a specific how-to video. The Sales tab is very similar to the User Defined Fields tab. It is an example of a custom layout created specifically for sales. A customizable version of Control enables users to make their own UDF layouts. Once you're done, click on the Save button to the right. Now that the company has been saved, you can click on the Explore button and select Explore Companies. To search for the company, type in the company name and you will see the company appear to the right. And that is how you can add a new company to control.